What's going on, everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at a sneaker that initially released back in 2006, and we're getting a retro of the sneaker in 2023. But before we get into that sneaker, I need a couple things from you. Y'all know the drill. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, need you to leave a comment in the comment section, letting me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at and sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we come back right here with another video and looking at the description box got a few things in there a couple of links you can uh, save money on some rejuvenator and you can shop at seasonsoul.com you might see something you like there just ask that you take a look and let that be that. So today's sneaker, uh, I wanted to see it in hand first before I made a conscious decision on if I'm going to purchase or not. And hopefully by the end of this video, I've made that decision. But I still have time because this sneaker doesn't release until September the 9th. So we got a little early look for you. This sneaker releases September the 9th. So we have some time to make that decision. So... That being said, this is the box. You probably have seen a video or two on YouTube with this sneaker. You got that box, salt and pepper look, that splatter on top. You got the Air Jordan Flight Club logo with the Jordan Jumpman on top and that burgundy wine looking colorway with the black background. As I show you guys, the sizing tag, the box tag, and it reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE and the color is Deep Burgundy Graphite. And this is a US size 12. Oh, uh, retail on these I believe will be $210. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I think that what the retail is gonna be. Maybe even higher, maybe lower. Give or take a few dollars. Don't kill me if I'm incorrect as I show you that sticker right there that gold qc sticker here's the paper you have that splatter of paper smooth on one side a little rough on the other let's look inside the box you do have your ycm sticker your green and white ycm sticker and that's everything that's in the box so y'all know without further ado let's get into the shoe here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 5 Burgundy. This is the 2023 version set to release on September the 9th, barring any changes. At the first look of the sneaker, it is a pretty clean sneaker. And I'm starting to like it. And y'all know when I start to like a sneaker, I'm probably gonna end up getting it. I've been fighting a battle with my inner self on buying sneakers, I've been trying to cut back, but they keep bringing sneakers that just, it just plays with my mind. It just touches my soul. I be be trying not to buy so many sneakers, but uh, oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's get the review started. This uh sneaker is made on an all burgundy base. You do have all over burgundy suede on the sneaker. You do have a translucent netting system right here on your quarter panel and it is breathable. You do have your molded eyelets right here in uh, the color of burgundy as well. And looking at your midsole, your midsole is made of polyurethane material. You have burgundy going around your air housing. You got a clear bubble with the gray inside. You do have your gray shark teeth right here along the midsole with splatter, splatter or speckles, excuse me, whichever you prefer. And you do have translucent hit right there and at the heel, which is going to lead to the outsole. You have a translucent hit on your outsole with the jaw and jump man underneath there. And I'm assuming that's burgundy uh, colorway that the jaw jump man is in. You got the hit of that burgundy at the toe right here on a four foot slash heel or underfoot I should say and it does say Jordan right there with that translucent hit right there the heel and you do have herringbone traction in here 
as we look at the heel of the sneaker, you do have an embroidered jaw and jump man and a great colorway on that back heel. More of that nice uh burgundy colorway. Uh, the material is more like a new book. It's very smooth, very smooth to the touch, and you do have that all over gray threading where they put it together. And we do have that those burgundy uh molded eyelets on here with the uh breathable translucent mesh right here on your quarter panels and you have that polyurethane midsole again with the burgundy colorway going around the air housing and you got that clear bubble gray inside just like on the lateral side you have that hit of translucent plastic right there and unlike the uh, lateral side you have that little hit of translucent plastic right here and you do have that one little piece right there, all by itself, standing out in a gray colorway. And give you a closer look at the uh, new buck on this uh, toe box. But let's go inside the sneaker. Let's see what we got. Yep, we got tissue. Come stuffed with this kind of tissue as I show you the uh, toe box. Yes, this is a nice little grand a new buck. You do have some brush back motion. Uh, you do have the uh, dark gray flat laces. These are the only laces that they come with. You do have a clear lace lock with a gray push pin. And uh, let's see what color is the Jordan Jumpman on here. I do not see any Jordan Jumpman logo on the push pin itself, but you do have a Jumpman right there on the lace lock itself. You do have more of that translucent netting right there on the tongue. It comes up to but right there. It's on top of some of that burgundy new buck. And you do have a 3M tongue right there, that silver. 3M tongue that fires are becoming known for. And you have an embroidered jump man on the top of the tongue in the burgundy colorway. You do have a gray sock liner. Nice cotton gray sock liner with these bad boys. And let's see, can we uh, get to the sizing tag? I know it's a challenge getting to the sizing tag on Jordan 5, but this is a size 12. And the production date is February 1st, 2023 to April 10th of 2023. So a little over two months of production with these. Trying to get you guys a look at that. Yeah, it's off in the corner right there. Uh, let's see. Does the end? Yep, the insert does come out. You do have a gray, a charcoal gray insert with the burgundy Jordan jump man and your size of sticker says US size 12. And this another one. Another dream cell insert. So let me know your thoughts and your plans for this sneaker on September the 9th as the time we're recording this video. That's when this sneaker is set to release. And on the back of the tongue, you do have Air Jordan on here. Uh, so that's the sneaker. Let me know your thoughts. Anybody out there still have their 2006 pair? I love to hear about that. I love to see if you have them. You can post it on IG and tag me, Titanic Feet J. My IG link is in the uh, description box. Tag me on IG so I can see the condition of your 2006 pair. So this is the 2023 pair, and I'm going to sign out by telling you. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.